Hello everyone. Today we are here for a career guidance session on science careers after 12th standard conducted by Kerala Samajams Model College. My dear friends, we are going to see the various career options which are available after 12th standard after doing science. Now, it is very important for us to first decide about the path about the goal about the destination which we want to reach and for that it is very important for you to plan planning is very important without planning you cannot decide about the path which you are going to take today i will be helping you out to just find the path my attempt today is just to give you the path after your 10th standard you, if you are deciding to take up science you will have three options in front of you general science bifocal and medicine when i talk about general science this is an option available to all the students where you get to study the core subjects of physics chemistry mathematics english biology and of course you have the second language of marathi or hindi you can take information technology also in place of marathi or hindi if you are deciding to take the bifocal subject where you study electronics or computer science in place of biology and the second language hindi and marathi and if you take the medical option then you can study economics or geography as an optional subjects instead of mathematics the rest of the subjects remains the same now what are the pros and cons of this if at all you are going for general science all the doors are open for you you can attempt engineering exams you can go for medicine and you can also go for plain bsc but mind you when you go for plain bsc you are in this you are open to everything you can do life sciences you can do physical sciences you can do chemical sciences everything including the applied sciences but if you decide to take medical then the entire field of engineering is out of bounds for you of course you can go for medicine of course you can go for plain bsc but once again if you check here in plain bsc you will be unable to get admission to courses like bsc information technology or bsc computer science as they require mathematics as the subject in 12th standard so mind you make up your minds now if you are going for bifocal which is a very specialized branch the students who wish to appear for their engineering entrances for them this is the course of course engineering sciences are open for you but medicine is absolutely out of bounds of course you can go for plain bsc also but once again you will not be able to do the life science courses as you do not have biology as your core subject in your 12th standard so my dear friends first decide properly what exactly or which destination you want to go now if you if you do your 12th standard with science you have variety of of career options available to you architecture defense medical paramedical engineering design pharmacy pure sciences practically all the branches and i will be talking about them in detail in my slides to come of course the most popular choice is becoming a doctor or an engineer now what is the route to engineering how will you pursue engineering after doing 11th and 12th with core subjects of physics chemistry and mathematics you have two roads one the mhtcet exam which is conducted by the department of technical education maharashtra and of course the jwe mains which is conducted by the national testing agency new delhi well i will talk about the exams also but if you are getting a minimum qualifying marks in jwe mains 
then obviously you will be eligible to give one more exam that is JWE advanced which is conducted by the IITs there are few other criteria required like for example you must after qualifying JE mains you should have minimum of 70% marks in your HSC board exams or if you are a CBSC student then in your CBSC 12 standard exams and if you are in the cutoff list of JWE advanced then obviously you will be called for counseling for central universities such as the Indian Institute of Technologies or the Indian School of Mines or the Institute of Technology Banaras Hindu University or the Indian Institute of Space Technology which is in Tiruvananthapuram you have the triple ITs the Indian Institute of Information Technology and of course if you want to make your career in pure sciences then Indian Institute of Science Education and Research or the ICERS if you want to get into these coveted institutes in our country then you have to go till the JWE advanced however 15% seats in all engineering colleges in Maharashtra will be filled by the JWE means if you want to if you don't want to get into the JWE advanced stage you can cut your journey till JWE means then you can get admissions to the National Institute of Technologies that is NITs or the triple ITs they don't require JWE advanced as their criteria if you want to do BSc nautical sciences you again have to give the JWE mains exams I have listed here a plethora of engineering sciences now rest of the 85 percent seats in the state of Maharashtra is going to be filled by the MHT CET exams now what is the difference between these two exams JWE mains you have physics chemistry maths 20 plus 5 questions correct answer gives you 4 wrong answer takes away one marks from you MHT CET exam you have 50 questions of physics 50 questions of chemistry and 100 questions of mathematics or biology no negative markings in MHT CET however please understand the pattern and the approach to both the exams are different one demands accuracy other demands speed so students must prepare themselves accordingly now coming to medical sciences of course coveted medic medical science is MBBS our country also gives degree in dental surgery BDS we also have BAMS that is Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery we also have BHMS these comes under medical branches and for that you require to give the NEET exam here I would also like to mention that even the paramedical courses like BSc nursing also requires the NEET exam the pattern of the NEET exam is there in front of you 45 questions of physics 45 of chemistry 45 of botany 45 of zoology same four marks for each correct answer and one mark will be taken away if at all you are making mistakes I have listed the course of paramedical it is not just BSc nursing you have BSc physiotherapy you have optometry people who make the spectacle glasses BSc radiology very upcoming branches veterinary sciences all these require you to qualify the NEET exam and if you want to make your career in pharmacy it is the B farm the entrance exam which you require to give after 12th is the MHT CET exam physics chemistry mathematics or biology you can take any one of them that's if you want to make your career in pharmaceutical sciences as you very well know that India is going to be the pharmaceutical hub in the next decade so this is one of the course which is going to be in high demand in the next few years to come well if you are good in drawing then I would obviously suggest you to go for the architecture course and here the you you can give three exams of course colleges in Maharashtra will accept MHT CET ARC 
you may have to give JW mains for national level colleges, but you have to select paper two for that. And for all private colleges, you have another exam called as NATA, NATA. And see the pa paper pattern, mental ability as paper one and paper two is hand free drawing. So it requires specialized training for architecture courses. Mind you, any student, not just student of science, any student can apply for architecture courses. This is a misconception in people's mind that architecture cannot be done by students who don't have a science background. It can be done by anyone. But of course, science students have an upper hand. When I talk about design, most of the people think it is the fashion designing. But we have something called as industrial design. National Institute of Design in Ahmedabad is a premier institute which is giving the BDES course. Similarly, IIT Mumbai and IIT Kharagpur, they conduct the BDES courses. And to get into this, you require to give the UCED exam. Undergraduate Common Entrance Exam for Design and look at the paper pattern once again. Logical Reasoning, Mathematics, Mental Ability and Design Aptitude Test. So if you are really good at this and if you are passionate about design, this is one of the very, very coveted course, Bachelor of Design. If you are passionate about pure sciences, if you, are, if you really want to make your career in research, then I will always advise you to go for the NEST exam. It is conducted by the Department of Atomic Energy for admission to Center for Basic Sciences in Mumbai or the NICER in Bhubaneswar. A very, very interesting exam with a paper pattern of physics, chemistry, bio, maths and English is also there. You will have to decide which subjects you would like to give. And mind you, here you can Choose any three choices, any three subjects of your choice. And this is the big change which happened from this year. The CUCET or the CUET. 41 universities in our country have now decided to go away or do away with the 12 standard marks and conduct a uniform exam which is called as the Central Universities Entrance Test. Central universities such as the Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi or the Delhi University or even the Jamia Milia Islamia, all these universities are now taking their admissions not on the basis of 12 standard marks but on the basis of CUET. The first CUET will be conducted in the month of August 2022. So students, gear up for these exams. There is, I have listed here a list of courses in plain BSCs, which is again gaining popularity in the days. If you really think that you have something in you, if you really think that you can make something out of you and you can present yourself good, then careers in films and television awaits you. If you want to study this, then you have degree courses in cinematography, you have degree courses in film editing, sound recording, animation and the best place to study that, the Film Technology Institute in Pune or the SRFTI, the Satyajit Ray Film and Technology Institute. These are centrally funded institutes. You do have to give an entrance exam here also. But here I would like to mention anyone, anyone with plus two can get into these institutes excepting for the co course of sound recording. Sound recording requires physics, chemistry and mathematics for 12th standard. If you are planning to join the hospitality industry, then the hotel management course is, in, is waiting for you. For that, you have to give the MHCET hotel management or the JET-HM joint entrance test for hotel management. I have also enumerated the paper pattern and once again such type of courses can be done not just by science students but practically any faculty science, commerce or arts. Well, 
all the national law universities now come under the CLAT, that is the Common Law Admission Test. It is gaining popularity like anything, considering this to be one of the coveted exams. Any student passing out their 10 plus 2 from any stream can go for the CLAT exam, Common Law Admission Test. This will give you admission in the national law colleges spread all over our country. Even a science student can go for it. Now I come to fashion technology. When I say fashion technology, even science students can get into this, into a branch called apparel production, which is BF Tech. And this is meant only for science students. They can go to other courses also in fashion technology, but this one is exclusively meant for science students only. Bachelor of Fashion Technology in that apparel production. Well, we all have seen last two years was horrible with Corona. And obviously, this required a lot of importance on biological sciences. Marine biologist, microbiologist, bioinformatics. These are the courses which are going to be the courses for the next at least two to three decades. So that's the reason why we say the fruits of science are essential to our modern society. So for a respectful, honest and a meaningful life to improve quality of life, people generally tend to take up science. And science gives that much opening for the students to do their careers. So therefore study of science is challenging, no doubt. It is not for everyone because it is very rigorous and demanding. But of course, I'm sure with your hard work, you can come out of this. Parents, you should know your child's academic strength and weaknesses too. And accordingly, you should decide what exactly should be the destination. When I started this talk, I talked about the destination. It is important for you to know the destination because your destination will guide you to the path. Your child is going to walk on that path. So sit with your child and decide about the destination. Thank you very much.